Here's a quick overview of simple sci-fi. So first off, understand it's a displacement generator. So it creates these grayscale images. And let's just take a look at this. We have three different generators, a shapes generator, a geometry generator, and a dots generator. And the shapes generator is basically, it uses, you know, round shapes. You can zoom in here. You can see you got, you know, round shapes. We've got, uh, you know, kind of like pyramid type shapes. We've got some ramps, things that are going, you know, one direction only like this one right here. So there's a lot of different shapes in there, and you can adjust these by using the seed number. So as I drag the seed number around, you'll see that it just, you know, it can keep generating shapes. And I can, of course, you know, choose to have a black background or not. I can do things like change the density of the non-proportional shapes. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's we'll choose the density of the proportional all the way down. So here's the non-proportional shapes. So I can just change the size of these, and then I can change the density too. So I can adjust those. And then I can, you know, basically go over to the proportional ones, and that's gonna be things like circles and stuff like that. And again, I can change the size of these, and I can change the density as well. So I can move those around. So. Once I get what I want, I can take a look and just render the material. So I could actually choose not to, to have actually different colors in here as well. So this has got different colors. I can adjust these sliders and move these colors around to get that color. When I'm done, I just render that. And of course, when I want to render the displacement map, I turn this off and then I hit render and I render this. And typically, let me just show you how fast it renders. Uh, let's do a, a 4K render. I'll hit F12. And it's going to be one one thousand, two one thousand. So like what two seconds, and that's it. That's that's a four K. That's a four K image right there. So what two seconds? Eight K is maybe what six seconds, eight seconds. So it, it renders really fast. Okay, so let's look at the dots generator. As we look at these dots, you know we have basically you know kind of all the same controls. That's the dots. We can adjust the size. We can adjust the density. We have proportional dots and we have non-proportional dots. So that's for creating lights and stuff like that. And we can adjust the light color down here. And once we turn on the render material part. So when you render a material, you want to render a ping, not an EXR. So when you render the depth map, you want to use a 32-bit EXR. When you render the material, you want to use an 8-bit ping or an 8-bit JPEG. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is this really cool GeoGen node. And the GeoGen node has the same kinds of things, except that we don't have proportional. We have lower and higher. Let me let me zoom up on, uh, on this and show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we've got different geometry all over this place, right? So we can see that we've got lower and higher, and it's all graded. And if I want to, I can just say, let's go to this material preview and just turn that on, and you know, and you'll see that this is kind of the material preview in, in a flat shaded mode. But what the materials are going to look like on it, I'll turn it back off because this is what we need to render a height map, right? So I'll go in here and I hit F12 and I render the EXR. I can do that uh, and I can also just, you know, as you know, same thing, look how fast this, this, you know, you can just complete, move things around all you want, you know, and, you know, this is what I'm going to stick with. So when I've done this, I, I just save this file, file, save, and then I'm going to create a brand new file, file, new, general, and then I'll hit AX, I'm going to delete everything, brand new file. And let's go ahead and say append. And I'm going to go into this append, and I'm going to find that file that I just used, which is this one right here. And I'll go into the collection. And what I want to do is I want to look for the GeoGen collection. That's this one right here. Double click on it, and it'll come in like, just like this. So I need to hide. I'll hide this and hide this. This is where we're at right now. So I'll hit period key. And that's our object. And so what we do is... We'll click on it and we'll go into our modifiers and we'll turn the material preview back on. And I'll turn this off and you can see that's, look how nice that is. So, it's, so there's a whole bunch of settings that we can use to adjust this. The GeoGen material is what we want to use. As you can see, we have a lot of different things. We can create it, we can add a different dot map to that. As you can see, there's the dot maps. We can add a different side ping. So, so the side ping is what we use to generate the uh, different texture levels on the sides over here, right? So that's how we do it. And all you do is you just tab into this, load a new one in, to, and click on here and tab back out. So, and then we have like the lights. So I can go in here and if you look at our object, I can scale it. If I scale it more, they're smaller. If I go a little bit lower, they get bigger. So that's, 
you know, that's, we'll just leave it at one. We'll just, you know, and of course we can adjust the brightness and the contrast of the lights as well as the gray brightness. It tells us what the factor is in, in the grayscale goes to the factor of this mix shader between the emission of the lights and the principal of the rest of it. So anyway, that's, and then of course, X lock and Y lock. If I want to just move lights around, I can just move this around like this and, and it moves it in the X direction and the Y direction. So that's what that is for. And then if we go up here to the object material, you'll see that we have colors that we can adjust. So if I want to change this brown color, you don't move these sliders by the way, but you just click on the brown color and we can just change it to maybe a little lighter if I want to and it'll, it'll adjust that. So there's five different colors in here that we can adjust. If we mix it all the way to the left, then we're only using the colors of the objects, these colors to map things. If we mix it all the way to the right, we're gonna use this side color, which is a kind of a box mapping. To map things so you can mix it you know i kind of like it somewhere around you know like something like that is fine it looks looks pretty good so as we said we're looking at the color and now when we control shift click we'll go to metallic we'll see the roughness if the roughness maybe this is a little too if you look at it, it's a little too dark so that means everything's too shiny so i'll go down to my my roughness settings right here i'm gonna just add a little brightness that'll make things less shiny then control shift click there's the normal there's the side ping so what do we do to the side ping well in the side ping, we have all kinds of things. We can scale it, so we can have these. This is these are going to be the bump maps and, and some of the colors with it, right? So we can scale it, and we can change the X lock, and we can change the Y lock. You know, and it's good to look. You know, you look at these surfaces and you see where they're going. Adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast, and then the gray gray brightness and gray contrast is for, used for the bump map. So just so we're clear on that. When we're done with that, we'll just come over here and we'll click on this mix shader and Control Shift click, and now we're done, right? If I want to see the dots, I can Control Shift click here. Now I'm going to see the dots. If I want to, you know, brighten them up a little bit, I can, and I'll maybe just just a little bit something like this 0.1 and then I got to jack up with the contrast maybe a little bit and then if we go back into here we'll see we have lights going on in there and I can adjust the light strength the emission strength right here let's go ahead and shift a and we're gonna add a camera and I'm gonna put it right there and let's go to our world and we have a, a world set up the sky world with using the Nishida sky texture and I'll go into here One of the cool things you can see is that, look at this geometry. I mean, we're seeing geometry that's underneath things. We're seeing overhangs, you know, stuff like that. And so, you know, that's, you can't see that with regular dis displacement, of course. And you guys probably know that. And I'll adjust the Nishida sky settings. So I'll maybe make the uh, elevation like 20 and the rotation. Let's move the rotation around. So as you can see, we're only working with 308,000 triangles to get all this geometry, and that's ridiculous because this is easily four to six million faces if I were to instance it. And I can do that, but I'm not going to. I don't need to if I want to render it out. I can convert this to a mesh. You know, it is already a mesh. It's not displaced geometry, so it's always very clean. And because of our material, we have the ability to adjust the colors and the texture maps as we like. Let's go back into this view, and let's just do a quick render and uh, show you how fast this is. It's a uh, 1920 by 1080, just an HD render. And you know, we're, we're done, we'll be done here fairly quickly with this scene. And you can see that it renders out pretty nicely. And you can see these undercuts in here. So it doesn't look at all like a displacement mapped object, right? And we have these nice, you know, cuts coming around here on the backside. And you can adjust these maps as well. So anyway, I just want to show you how quick this new Simple Sci-Fi toolkit is. We'll be having both a free version and a pro version. The free version will allow you to do everything you're seeing right here. Pro version is going to have a lot of different, what I call D-packs, displacement packs. They're going to have lots of different things that you can put in it. And it'll generate based on those. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.